What's a TIA? TIA stands for transient ischemic attack. Essentially, it, it is a, basically a stroke deficit that happens and then goes away. Why does it go away? Uh, the blood flow is restored in the brain. So you can think of it as a little clot that lodged in a blood vessel that dissolved itself. The blood vessel opens up, starts feeding the brain, and the function comes back. Traditionally, a TIA lasts less than 24 hours. More recently, we think of TIAs as something that happens transiently, but doesn't leave a permanent mark in the brain on the MRI test. Can people have recurrent TIAs? They can, uh, absolutely. If, if they have, is that one a month or one a year, or they get them three a week? What's, what's recurrent? Well, I, you know, it, it differs in different people. I think one thing that's important is if you're having recurrent TIAs, you know, if you have one one day and the two days later you have another one and the next day another one, the, the sequence of TIAs I think is important because what it essentially means is you could have a stroke very, very soon after a TIA happens. Increased incidence of having the big stroke after, a, after people have TIAs. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, what are the symptoms of a TIA? Symptoms of a TIA are identical to the, to the symptoms you would have for stroke. Uh, the only difference is it's transient, it doesn't stay there. It goes away usually within 15 minutes, an hour, an hour and a half, two hours. So somebody may have signs of a stroke, it's recognized, uh, 911, they get to the emergency room, the stroke's gone. Exactly. And that's, exactly. A, that's a TIA. That's a TIA, and I treat it very similar to someone that's having a stroke. So in terms of the evaluation and to determine why they had that TIA or why they had that stroke, that's very important to help reduce the chances of an actual stroke happening after a TIA.